what's one of your favorite experiences with a fan at Comic-Con? Like, have you ever met somebody and you're like, I want to be your friend in real life? <laughs> Yeah, well, yeah, it's probably not what you want to hear, but, um, yeah, it was a Marine yesterday. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And, uh, yeah, I wanted to be his friend in real life. Oh, sorry, Scott. Where's that 12-year-old girl you could have him? Um, yeah, no, but there's, a, I got loads of stories. One of the, one things that, uh, happened to me, um, and I, uh, I'm try, I try to think of new things to talk about when I do this, but this one story it continues to always make me, you know, kind of feel that I'm doing, what I'm doing is right, and that, you know, everybody's getting the right idea, and, you know, blah, 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 blah. This father came up to the table with his son, and, uh, he had just, we were doing, it was myself and some other torture people and a couple of Doctor Who people, and they came up and he walked up to the table and they said, um, he said, well, do you want Captain Jack's autograph? And the kid turned and he went, yes, Dad, of course I do. Because, you know, he might like boys, but he is so cool. <laughs> and I thought, you know what, kid, you're getting that for free. Get over here. <laughs> so, yeah, so those kind of things I love. I also love when people come up and there's many of you out there know who you are and all the different cons that I've done who come up and tell me your stories. I know it's a brief time you have to tell it, but um, you've learned how to do it in Twitter speak, which is fantastic. <laughs> so it's like, hi John, hashtag, out gay, love it, you saved me, brilliant. <laughs> so, and, and, you know, I, I enjoy hearing those kind of things because it's uh, great to see that people identify with sci-fi because that's what sci-fi does best. We touch on subjects that other shows are just starting now to touch on, you know, because they've been afraid to for so many years, but we in the sci-fi world, everybody knows that no one can pull the wool over a nerd's eyes. <laughs> <laughs>